these pistol skins sure look good. Let's buy them all. How much money would I need? At the time of making this video, there were exactly 1,100 different pistol skins on the market, comprising of 178 souvenirs, 273 stat tracks and 649 normals. And although the numbers and prices are always fluctuating, I could have bought them all for just $10,707.63. Bargain. But let's look into that number a bit further, since it's somewhat misleading. For a start, the most expensive skins were not always the ones that you'd expect. Some of the most expensive were battle-scarred common skins where somebody had obviously just bought all of them and put them back on the market for some outrageous amount. Like this example here. It's annoying because it ruins the otherwise beautiful graphs that I could have constructed on this topic. But hey, I'm not going to start changing the data. It seems as though the stat track weapons are currently the least abused category. Bundling normal, stat track and souvenir into the same graph smooth things out a little bit. The best three conditions seem to work fairly well, but the bottom two are a right mess. Be very careful when buying scratched up weapons. If $10,000 seems a little steep, why not focus on just one pistol? The cheapest are the dual Berettas, where you can get all of them for a little over $600. The most expensive is the USPS, which will set you back over $2,000. Alternatively, if you don't care about stat track or souvenirs, then you could have all normal skins for $3,833.14 pence. I mean cents. Cents. But who am I kidding? Nobody wants all of the skins, particularly when most of them look like they've been hit with a crowbar. For factory new normal skins, they'll cost you $1,730. It's actually cheaper to get the factory new stat tracks for just $1,700. But once again, this can be a little misleading since factory new skins are usually the most demanded and rarest, to the point where some of them aren't even available on the market. I can't say that I'm a weapon connoisseur and certainly can't be bothered to hunt for all the skins not present in this data, but let's take a look at the 17 skins that have a value of $100 or more. Surprisingly, only 9 of them are factory new. Two of them are minimal wear, and three of them are well-worn and battle-scarred. Surprise, surprise, the most expensive is a battle-scarred 5.7 weighing in at $400. Alternatively, you can get yourself a factory new one for $25.38. Pays to shop around. Second is a factory new stat track overgrowth for $398. It's always been expensive, but it's only gotten more so recently. And I'm sure the other 15 have exciting stories to tell as well. I'll leave them here for you to look up in your own time. But as I said, the market is ever-changing and a lot of what I've picked up on in this video may no longer be relevant. It would be interesting to look back at this in a year's time and to see how it's all changed. A lot of you may already know this, but even without market manipulation, there are occasions where minimal wear is worth more than factory new. This is particularly the case where a skin can only be one of those two settings and the slider cuts off halfway through minimal wear, making it rarer than factory new. Of course, you could just save yourself some money and get a crowbar. Or a knife. Nah, definitely not a knife.